just got done watching my soap, and who remembers the facts of life, the one thing I never mentioned on the video, that's important to me. And that crazy theme song. It's not alto. It's not bass soprano. Soprano. What was I going to say? My head is full and I... It's full. Like it's going to weigh over. I am everything you want. I am everything I need. Self-worth. Self-esteem. Self-value. I'm a Jap, a Jewish American princess. I get everything I want when I want it. I didn't mean to shake you, camera. I get things when I need it. He's everything you want is in the song by Vertical Horizon when he's saying, he's everything you want, he's everything you need. I know who's everything I want, who's everything I need, but they don't want to be with me. Why can't anyone be reciprocal in this world, even if we have everything in common? Well, this is Oren. I went on a trip without him. I mean, he went on a trip and I didn't go with him. His mother came with and I felt a little funny and he wants to go stalk Trump at all his rallies and I'm anti-stalking. You know, I'm not a stalker and he wants to go chase Donald Trump everywhere he goes. In Cleveland, he wants to go and then he sleeps at this Arabic home, homemade hotel. It's weird. And there's no way that I was sleeping in the same bed with him and his mother. They, I'm not even sure if his mother got rid of bed bugs. That's what I'm not. And she will ask me and have a session of 21 questions, if you know what I mean. Maybe more of a thousand and one questions, like the Dalmatians, yeah. Everything. So, where did the kid go to school? And how does the teachers treat him? And what's their name? And what's their age? And when is their birthdays? And like, do you think I know about other people? I only care about what's going on, the real facts of life here, not what somebody else is doing. I was so sick once caring about everyone else, I forgot all about myself. I'm a Jap. I get the clothes, excuse me, the clothes I want, the contacts I want. I go to the schools I wanted. I get everything that I want when I want it. My mother started spoiling me as I'm an only child. Have I ever mentioned that? I think people could tell. Yeah, I never wanted to be spoiled or an only child. But the upbringing, I got so used to it, I started saying, I want it now! I want it now! And, um, they call me sheltered or whatever, but trust me, now I'm working on my ass for everything. And even if this last thing that I can't have right now, if I have to make $19,000 to get it, I will bust my fucking ass and make $19,000 to get what I want out of life. But nothing in my lifetime is going to stop me from achieving my dream. No bumps are going to get in the ro on my road to success. People say that, for an example, like, I can't, I never would make the top of Mount Everest. I would prove them wrong and build you a Mount Everest just to prove to you that I can climb it. In the thin, 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 how many thins did I say? Six? Perfect. Air. Yeah, with the goggles on. I could make a Mount Everest just to prove to you I could climb it. I'm sure everybody has a Mount Everest of their own, but I have my dream set and I'm going to achieve it. I'm going to chase it and not, I will attack it down like a cat chasing a mouse. I will not stop till I get what I want out of life. But I don't care if I have to knock other people over to get what I, you know, I'm not really going to knock other people over. Like in a car, crash, I don't care if I have to bump other cars over, I'm getting to my destination in life. I mean, I don't care if people tell me, no, it can't happen, it's not reality, I'm not saying what it is, it's very embarrassing, that's never going to happen, it's hopeless, well guess what, fuck that, there's always hope in life, really. As bleak and as hopeless as dark as things may seem. Like the nightmares I have all the time. I do have nightmares. I shouldn't be eating homemade pizza before bed. Blech. Some people having think that, that when they have a zit, it's the end of the world. It's not. I don't stop till I get what I want. I am a Jewish American princess. I can't believe I have candy stuck in my teeth. I love those now and laters in little packets. They are so good. But they were hard as a rock and I had to throw majority of them out. After all that money I spent, yeah. 
And I want to let you know, when there's a dream, chase it. Pursue your goals. It was to be an actor, a lawyer, a doctor, a scientist, a singer, a car racer, whatever else is out there, an airliner, whatever, you want to fly planes, chase that dream. That ain't too easy. Good luck with that, whoever wants to be an airliner. That's the one thing I can't handle is planes, if you want to know the truth. I hate being on them. They're very nerve-wracking, the most nerve-wracking time. I could be with the movie star on the plane, and I'd be more afraid of the plane instead of greeting myself to the movie star. It wouldn't make me feel better. I had a coincidence like that before. Remember when I was little, and I went to Trellis? I'm not going to get on with that. I met Al Lewis for the Munsters, and he died, and my mother was screaming, There's an actor in here! And I thought it was Leonardo DiCaprio. This was right after Titanic came out. I said, An actor? Wonder who it is. I said, Oh, I never heard of Grandpa from the Munsters. I'm more of the Addams Family fan. I like old shows. I like old songs. And I sure don't belong from 1987. People think I'm from 1975. I think I belong more like 1955. <laughs> Things got really interesting in the early 60s. That would be my era. Why was I born in the boring 80s? The most boring time to be born. Because I knew the 90s and the early 2000s were going to blossom into a new millennium. I don't know if our souls pick our parents. But I get what I want. When I want it and how I want it. Expensive clothing. The jewelry is I'm not a jewelry person. I have a... Uh, I don't have a shrine, but it would be of myself if I did. I get everything. I think I got the perfect child. That should be the most priceless gift on my list, which it is. I have to have my cigarettes every day. I have to have gum when I need it. Just... I have patience, but being a Jewish American princess, I know all about the religion and how from people religious Jews speak. I think I'm done with my time. Almost. And I know how Orthodox Jews speak. And I'm not going to say, Allah Shanhara. I'm not going to mock them or anything like that. But they're, they're, they believe they're doing the right thing, and I believe they are too, and I'm not. So, whatever.